Hawthorne already believes Zavala abandoned her and the survivors. Now that we're leaving, if we stayed, yes, we could help them survive. But if Zavala really is building a counteroffensive on Titan, we can save them all and take back the city. Vanguard Fleet, Guardian Ship 723 is on approach. We received your beacon and we're ready to join the fight. Guardian Ship, this is Zavala. It's too late. The Hive have overrun Titan. I was wrong to bring us here. Alright, so here we are. We're on Titan. Welcome back to some more Destiny 2. Um, hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, I'm going to get myself ready for work as soon as possible. Uh, I'm going to be leaving around like 3.30, so that's... I, I can finish maybe like two missions. Maybe. Oh, shit. No. Maybe. What? Impossible. Commander, if I may. Guardian, this is Deputy Commander Sloan. We have a counter-offensive to plan. To do that, we need to get this station up and running. There's a fleet to prep, guardians to arm, and a trove of intercepted Red Legion transmissions to decrypt. It's critical we gain access to the station's control center. That's where you come in. If the light really is with you, send the hive back to hell. And guardian. Yeah, I'm trying to be careful. This water is pretty, I must say. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, I leave work at, well, going to work, well, I leave home at 3.30, and then I start work at 4. Oh, my God. Oh, shit, I gotta jump back over. Oh, oh, Jesus. Dumbass. Dumbass me. I had the ledge. Here we go. Start work at 4.30, so... What was this place? Not this whack-ass job that I got. I would not recommend anybody to get a job at Target. I swear to God, don't do not do it. It's it's not... They ain't shit, to tell you the truth. Okay, I thought I was gonna... <laughs> I thought I wasn't gonna make that ledge. You always have a bad feeling, ghost. Always. This is little falls looking shit. Put a little grenade right there. Alright, we're all good. I think there's more. Maybe I can just outrun these motherfuckers. I don't think I can do that. You think I can do it? You think I can make it? Oh shit! Oh! Oh! I made it! <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> Last time I did that, and I was like, oh, I don't need to kill these motherfuckers. I just need to outrun these bastards. Okay, so Had to fix a couple of videos on my Copy YouTube that. thing. Keep pushing forward. Commander, at this rate, we can start planning our counteroffensive. Oh, my we'll phone vibrating. Oh shit. Oh. Alright. Where you at? Oh, there you are. There we go. Maybe I can outrun these bastards. Oh my god. I came on this side. Okay, we're all good. I feel like one's behind me. There we go. Alright. They seem a little bit more bulky in Destiny 2 than they was in Destiny 1. I feel like they got more muscles and shit. 
I don't know, maybe that's just my imagination, but they look completely different. Come on, you bastard. Oh, shit. I played this like f five or six times already. And still didn't know they were coming on that side. Oh. I don't want to die on this part. Let me just reload real quick. So far, I like the exotic gears, the, the quest lines of getting the exotic gears. Armors, weapons, and all that stuff. They're a little bit easy this time around. They're not as too complicated. Some people said they were like really easy to kind of get. That is true. They are kind of easy to get. There's a few of them that you have to like put some effort into do it. Nah, I just hit you with the melee attack. Oh, a little friend. On my Titan, I think I got at least like maybe two of the weapons from the exotic quest lines. You get the quest lines from like on Ayu, Nexus, and all that good stuff. They're they're pretty easy to get. They're so, I mean they're easy, but they still got a lot of steps to kind of follow in that sense. Um, some people see it as easy. Um, because people play hours of hours of Destiny 2. That's not me. I can't play hours of Destiny 2. I mean, I love Destiny and it, I really do. It's a really enjoyable game. But I can't sit there for hours and keep grinding and grinding to get that gear. I can't see myself doing that. We should talk to Eris more. She would know which hive god they were communing with. No one has seen Eris. All I call her. I'm not a big fan of the grenade launchers. I'm really not. They're not a big fan favorite of mine. I don't know. I don't know. Like the projectiles of the grenades are not. Eh, they're okay. They're not as like perfect. There's the control center. They're not as like how I suspect them to be. I don't know. That's just me. I'm not a big fan of the grenade launchers. And I'm not a big fan of the submachine guns, but I think if you get like the right submachine gun, I think they they could be really cool. But the grenade launchers, eh, I gotta get used to those shits. Like the fighting line, that grenade launcher is not the best. On my Titan, I'm 275 or 273, I think. And my Hunter, I'm like 265. So I said I'll take this time to... Um, kind of like... Work on my Warlock. I'll just play with my Warlock. Oh shit. These little bastards coming out of the ground. So once I get my Warlock to like maybe like 265 or something like that, then I can focus on my Titan and do a raid. Haven't did the raid yet. Promise to do the raid as soon as possible. I got a clan invite yesterday, but I'm like, I'm already in a clan. And you know how you work so hard on that clan? You don't have much, I don't have much people in my clan, but at the same time, you're just like, maybe I can, you know, delete this clan, tell my friends to join this clan, or ask that person if my friends can join this clan. Because, you know, everybody's clan is different. Everybody has, like, a closed clan, open clan, or adult clan, or no girls in the clan, or some shit like that. Um, so I try to, you know, it's a cool clan. I mean, they, they got 25 members. And I was thinking long and hard about it, of maybe joining this clan. But at the same time, you work so hard on your clan. Your friends is working hard too, to, you know, 
do their points, and it won't make any sense to kind of join a clan. And, and I love my clan better, and it represents me. So I was like, no, thank you. I ain't going to decline. I'm sorry. I mean, I, you know, they probably ask why, and be like, well, I already made a clan. I understand. I do have six people in my clan, but. I worked so hard on it this for the past couple of weeks now, and I'm so close to getting the clan rewards. It won't make any sense to, you know, kind of like do that. So I said, no, thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you for inviting me. That's been really nice, but at the same time, I have to decline. That's just me. I don't know who told. Me, I don't know who invited me. I don't. I don't know. Tell you the truth, who invited me to join the clan? I don't know if they noticed that I already have a clan. I already have a clan membership, but I already started a clan. I'm going to advertise my clan a little bit more so people can really join and have fun and work together and help each other. I, I know, like, we have this new clan system, this guided games, and people are still kicking out people for just stupidness. I was on a Destiny uh, community on Facebook, and this guy, he was African American, and they asked him what's his race so of course he was like you know he want to see what was going to happen like what was going on like why you asked me about my race he told him that he's you know he's he's black he's a black guy and they kicked him out they kicked him out of the uh i guess he was doing a raid he was getting ready to do a raid and the guy that games you know that you know that will help you kind of get you kind of like uh how do i put it put together with some clan mates who need one more member in that sense and they needed one more member I want to follow the regardless buddy and he told him that he was African American I mean I don't know how they know that he was African well he told them but you know some people were like I came across like sometimes people were like I hear stories like people say like they know that I'm African American like the way I talk I'm like there's a couple of white guys who talk black, and when you see them in person, they're white. Like, <laughs> so when I hear these stories of people saying that, yeah, they know that I'm African American, like, like Avatar or something in that sense, I'm like, are you serious? Like, your profile picture of that you have on your PSN network would let them know that you're black. It could be anything. And, I mean, I, I come across, like, the craziest stories of people, you know, encounter racism in, in the gaming community. I don't know how they're going to make it on Battle.net because, you know, Blizzard don't really do not have that type of tolerance onto their websites. They will ban your ass for life. And they will find a way to ban you <laughs> for the rest of your life. So you, you can make another account and still get banned. So that's how they take their, you know, their whole service is really serious. And all that good stuff. Um, but when I heard that story on the on the community forum on Facebook, I couldn't really believe it. Like, they knew you were African. Well, he told them that he was African American, and they just like, you know, kicked him out of the. Um, and they just literally kicked him out. Which makes no sense to me for them to kind of do that. Like, come on. Talking about, oh, you're not fit to play with us. That's like the racist shit I ever came across in my entire life. I'm like, a raid? I mean, there's like six white guys. I didn't dare believe. If the light can find its way back to you, then perhaps there is hope for us all. Our numbers will continue to dwindle. We can no longer protect ourselves, much less the survivors. And without the light, are we even guardians anymore? Commander.
We won't last long with dead generators. Wave energy converters power this station. But thanks to the Hive, they're in need of attention. We can take care of it. Yes, I believe you can.